Did you ever think that a flying puffy white ball could actually be an insect? It turns out that in, it is in this case, especially here across Kentucky. WPKO First Alert meteorologist Davis Wells ventured out to learn more about these little creatures and how they received their name, their woolly name. Flying cotton spotted around the area actually has insect tendencies. That's because it is an insect. Meet the woolly aphid. These insects typically are spotted on tree leaves, but can be found occasionally taking flight. Dr. Keith Phillips, a Western Kentucky University biology professor, says these insects are on the prowl to find just what they need to live their best life. Some of them are very important economically because they're, they're serious plant pests. Um, they have a sucking mouth part, so they stick it into the plant tissue and suck sap, and the sap has very little sort of a what they need. There's an, an excess of sugar. It gets excreted and then it has, actually can cause a lot of like buildup of mold on leaf surfaces if the, the sugar drips on the on the leaves. Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture, Kristen Hildebrand, told me that they received multiple calls from curious individuals. The warm and dry conditions over the summer could be to thank for the growing number of aphids present. They like the warm temperatures that we have right now for the summer, um, and they kind of have uh, that cottony type uh, secretion on their bodies, so on their antennae, their legs, uh, kind of their arms, um, those segments, and so they give off that cottony appearance, but they do like the warm temperatures that we've had. With it being early September, as temperatures start to decrease, so will their population. I will say this year, it's the highest infestation I've ever seen in my nearly 25 years living in Kentucky. As far as safety of these aphids, you really don't have to worry about them too much. There are problems like here, here today, gone tomorrow. They can cause some, some minor issues to plants, but most of the time the plants can tolerate them. Even with these aphids and some of your greenery potentially creating moldy leaves, Hildebrand says other pests work to counteract the woolly aphid from taking over. What's really interesting about the woolly aphid is that there are some beneficial insects that are out and about. They're controlling this pest population on their own. So if you see a lot of ladybugs or lady beetles, they're actually helping kind of manage this pest. We don't recommend that anybody apply anything for this time of year because it's going to be short-lived. Reporting in Warren County, Davis Wells, WBKO News. Thank you.